Eutyrannus versus Oxalaya. It's the skinny feathered T-Rex versus the skinny smaller Spinosaurus. Eutyrannus meaning feathered tyrant is a genus of Tyrannosaurid which contains a single known species. Eutyrannus huali. Sounds like a mobile phone company. This species lived during the early Cretaceous period in what is now northeastern China. Three fossils of Eutyrannus huali, all found in the rock beds of Liaoning province, are currently the largest known dinosaur specimens that preserve direct evidence of feathers. And you know my stance on feathers. They're not cool, man. Oxalaya was a genus of Spinosaurid dinosaur that lived in what is now Brazil during the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous period, somewhere between 190 million years ago. Although Oxalaya is only known from two partial skull bones, Kellner and colleagues found that its teeth and cranium had a few distinct features not seen in other Spinosaurids, including two replacement teeth in each socket and a very sculptured secondary palate. But basically, it's a Spinosaurus, but smaller. I need a smaller Spino so to make the fights fair. But who would win in a fight? Let's find out. First, some stats. Oxalaya. Height, 4 meters. Length. 13 meters. Weight, five to seven tons. Bite force, let's say one ton. Speed, 25 kilometers per hour. I mean, it's basically a crocodile. Diet, fish and small dinosaurs. Okay, now onto the weapons of Oxalaya. Oxalaya possessed a massive crocodilian body capable of swimming. It had a bite force of one ton, which is weak for its size, but still devastating. Rip your arm, clean off. The jaws contained around 60 conical teeth. It had long, strong arms with 15 centimeter claws. Probably. Okay, and on to the stats of Eutyrannus. Height, three to four meters. Length, nine to 10 meters. Weight, one ton. Is being generous. Speed, let's say 40 kilometers per hour. That's being generous. Bite force, 2,000 pounds. Diet, sauropods like Dongbei Titan. Dongbei Titan. I like these Chinese dino names, pretty cool. Okay, now to the weapons of Eutyrannus. Uti had a 35 inch skull and is considered a basal Tyrannosaurid. An interesting fact about Eutyrannus is that some paleontologists have concluded that these dinosaurs did indeed hunt in packs. It's evidenced by the discovery of two young Eutyrannus with an adult. However, this belief isn't shared by everyone. Some people believe that these dinosaurs were ruthless competitors who would savagely attack each other over the same carcass. Why Eutyrannus had feathers is something that is currently unknown. Some paleontologists have asserted that they had feathers to keep them warm in colder climates. If this was indeed the case, then that would probably mean that these dinosaurs were warm-blooded like birds are today. They would have needed the feathers to insulate themselves. Creepy fucking dinosaur. Okay, now to the advantages of Oxalaya. Well, the first obvious advantage is its size. It's larger and heavier. It possessed strong arms with 15 centimeter claws. It possessed the large sail, which would make it look very intimidating. It also had an obvious advantage in water. Okay, now to the disadvantages of Oxalaya. Oxalaya may have been larger, but it wasn't as aggressive as Uti and lacked his hunting experience, being more adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. Oxalaya was likely slower and less agile than Uti. Oxalaya possessed a large sail that could intimidate, but it was also vulnerable to attack. The sail was fused to its spine. If it got slammed by Uti, the results would be devastating. And its bite wasn't as effective as Uti's in battle. Okay, now onto the advantages of Uti. He had more hunting experience. He was faster and more agile. His skull was well protected with thick bone. His bite was more devastating, especially if he can get to the neck. Okay, now to the disadvantages of Uti. Well, he's much smaller and lighter. Even when I brought the Spinosaurus down in size, he's still too small. He possessed tiny arms like Carnotaurus with non-functional hands. Probably possessed big fucking wings. He was inexperienced in water. Okay, so in Jurassic Park, when Dr. Grant says that he, he thinks dinosaurs evolved into birds and everyone fucking laughs at him, ha 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 ha. Well, look at this fucking dinosaur. It's basically a big duck. So lay off Dr. Grant. Okay, let's fight. Oxalaya and UT meet at a clearing. In Jurassic World 27. Yes, it happened 26 more times. 
including my ditch idea, but they evolved and grew little hook hands and climbed out and, and ravaged the visitors for a 27th time. And the insurance company premiums were so high that they went bankrupt. Okay, Oxalaya is usually quite a passive dinosaur, but this UT is a threat to her fish supply, so she must act. She charges at UT, hoping to scare him away. UT starving and about to eat his own tail, so unusually aggressive. He charges back. Both dinosaurs clash in the middle. Pah! Oxalaya slashes UT in the face, but it has little effect. UT bites Oxa's neck, not letting go, but Oxa breaks free. Slashes UT again. Good hit. Oxa then spins around and whacks UT using her tail. He takes it in the gut. Ooh! UT delivers a slashing axe bite, and Oxa. Oxa's bleeding out. And one more. Oxalaya is finished. Verdict. Well, normally, these two dinosaurs would probably avoid fighting. But if it came to it, Oxalaya would probably lose due to being a, basically a big, massive crocodile. But she did possess massive claws, so I'm gonna make it very, very tight. 60, 55% goes to Eutyrannus. Okay. Which dinosaurs should battle next? I'm actually gonna create two brand new dinosaurs, I promise. Beautifully detailed models. So decide which two, and I'm gonna make them fight like seven or eight previous dinosaurs. Vote below. I've been Viral Killer. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.